With all our hearts, we pray and ask God bless Anambra, God bless the shining light that we bear. We're the only ones to make her brighter, the only ones to make her better, the only ones to make an impression with us sweat and blood we breath of a what about the recruitment of teachers how is that process going because teachers almost on a daily basis retire from work so what's the what's the um um what's the plan in creating newer teachers who are more compliant with society of now? Actually, we were um, in the process, that's part of the reason why I'm saying this exercise here today, actually. Um, we started the recruitment exercise where we took examination. Um, we wanted about a thousand teachers, 500 for primary school, 500 for secondary school. Um, as I said, we start with that. We know we need more, but we need to start with that. The exercise also approved in the last week's school that we also recruit 500 science-based teachers, you know. So the first 1,000 is done, and the exactly we have to approve that it will be released. Um, so he's conscious of the death of teachers. He's also conscious of the need to recruit uh, newer and younger people who are going to you know, push education further. So that's part of the, so the permanent exercise is on. There's this um, perception that generally by most like here that private schools, missionary schools are more are, are better or more, you know they have more educational value than government schools. What's the what's the what's the statistics in Anambra State in that relationship? Government school, private schools, missionary schools. Well, let me say that. Um, um, Sometimes you do not have um, some cri criteria for measuring this and saying that it's not as simple as anybody thinks. How do you measure you know, better? For example, our students who went to uh, Singapore and did the Singapore, uh, say the, the Cartoon Convent School that was 18 years, well, that was 18 years old, and we beat them, we took um, the, the, the best team, the best speaker, and the, the overall best team. They are public, they were public, you know, school students. Yes. The students that have consistently won the President's School Debate Championship in Nigeria are well, public students. It just recently that we brought in the private uh, sector okay. to do the Governor's School Debate Championship. But it's like, um, so we have no, if, what if, if, so what do you mean by better? We have also seen that many of our private, private schools are also doing well, very, very well, right? like the regular Apache, you know, mm -hmm. school, you know, the child that uh, won the uh, gold in the technification pitching challenge in Silicon yeah. Valley. I mean, they are public, they are private schools, and they are also mission the uh, St. John's Science um, Technical College uh, is a public mission school. You know, you know, it's a public mission school that won bronze in Tunisia for International Festival of Engineering Science and uh, Technology. It's public mission school. What I can tell you is that um, it's a competitive spirit that we have in the state, whether it's public, whether it's mission, you know, uh, and we put from each other. We know that. Uh, the partnership we have the mission is actually working for us because they bring to bear their own money too, the government money and everything. And of course, they have better environment, better administration in terms of you know being dogged and ensuring that you do your work. I mean, so but you put from each other so that you can more really say that this one is is better, you know. But it's a question of putting from each other and bringing out a, a students that are. Well, okay. we participated in the International Festival of Engineering, Science and Technology, popularly known as IFEST in Tunisia. Um, it is a competition where students between the ages of 11 and 24 are given 
uh, opportunity is a platform for them within that age bracket to bring innovations into the world of technology. And so we, we were chosen uh, after levels of competition. Maybe we'll talk about that later, but we had the competition at the Ogidi Zona level where we belong, and then we did well. We had to represent Ogidi Zone at the state level. And then a group known as Arena for Science, Arena for Competition in Science, Mathematics and Technology, was monitoring us, even uh, anonymously, but we didn't know. So uh, at the end of the competition at the state level, they now chose us to represent Nigeria because they are affiliated with this body. And so we had to attend. There, you produce something that is teacher supervised, but not teacher produced. And it's also not supposed to be a finished product, probably bought from the market, and then uh, you come with it. No, they, are, they expect that the students themselves within this age bracket would produce something uh, at their level and then uh, technology wise that would be perfect or near perfect so the students made inverter a 600 watts inverter with which we traveled to we The shine light that we get. We're the only ones to make a brighter, the only 